The launch of Fallout 76 was a disaster. The once lauded series went from controversy to controversy, and according to most, was dead on arrival. It was rough when we launched it. We knew we were going to have a lot of bumps. It was very tricky to enjoy. The player versus player was quite extreme. It was unintended how powerful they were. A lot of our players want them removed. But four years later, not only are Vault Dwellers still emerging, they're obsessing. From every strange corner of the wasteland, survivors are not only thriving, but they're being extremely weird. We would have an initiation ceremony where we would all beat the new member to death and then eat them. There was a player that was role-playing as like a field medic. We bring back the arts, and with that, we bring back life. If you've got the imagination for it, you can make it happen. You know it's true. People come to the game now and see what's going on there, they'll be surprised. Most games that come out with some, some of the problems we had, the community does not respond the way ours has. From black markets, Shakespeare plays and full-time courier services, all the way to role-playing cannibals and trap camp serial killers, I wanted to get to the bottom of why Fallout diehards are not only still playing this once ridiculed game, but why their 76 obsession is taking the MMO further than was ever intended. That's our expression of humanity often is through arts and culture. Where for art thou, Rome? It's a family for me. We don't take it for granted, that's for sure. This is the inside story of the weird and wonderful fans still playing Fallout 76. No, it's true.